What up everybody, it's your boy Turn to Ash here. Happy Monday. I am back again everybody. I'm excited to jump into my live reaction of episode two of The God of High School. Last week's season uh, opening was amazing. I really, really loved the, the introduction of the three main characters. We got a small introduction of all the other main fighters that are gonna be in the prelims and in this big tournament, the God of High School tournament. So really exciting. We're getting a little bit of background information. At the very start of the last week's episode, we got to see kind of the main boss, the main bad guy that we might be dealing with here. I'm again, I don't remember much of the series, but he slapped that island when he slapped the desk. We assume that's what he did, so it had the same cross that he had on his hand. So maybe we'll learn a little bit more about that in this episode, but I'm really excited to jump right into my live reaction of episode two of The God of High School. So let's jump right into it, guys. Here, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell. Let's go. Get my headphones on. Here we go. We're starting with the Pentagon. Oh, so we're right into our, the island. You see the palm. Can someone explain this? Does King Kong exist and no one told me? <laughs> Chariot. Oh, alarms are going off. Mr. President. He just stroll into the Pentagon. <laughs> the Republic of Korea, Park Moo Jin. So Park Moo Jin just walks into the Pentagon like it was no big deal at all. Just walked right in and was like, what's up guys? Park Mujin. Nice to see you. This intro is so fire. I love this intro. I apologize if I'm yelling because these are noise canceling. So <laughs> can't really tell how loud I'm talking, but I'll try to take these off so I'm not yelling too loud at you guys. But I just want to make sure you can hear me throughout this, but I really want to listen to this intro. <laughs> So we're starting to see all those fighters again. There's Mori. So the three main characters are Mori, Mira, and Han. I'm terrible with names, but I really want to remember them. And maybe we'll get the names of the other main fighters that are participating in the God of the High School tournament. Bam! Get some almonds. The guy with the bat that's reading the book as he's fighting is so interesting to me. He looks so cool. Episode Renewal and Soul. Oh, so we're back at the tournament. Looks like they're healing the injured. Okay, so we never got to see what happened between Mori and that, that brawler guy that showed up late. Mujin's not back yet. Lucky bastard. <laughs> so there's the bracket A and bracket B of the tournament of high school. So is the tournament all set now? Oh, there's Mira. She looks a little not happy. <laughs> Mari's just like staring at her. I just thought. 
<laughs> You're not secretly a gorilla. <laughs> she like snapped his neck. Stalker. My house is on this route. <laughs> I just got it fixed. Why'd you break it again? <laughs> she actually broke his neck and they used the nanos to fix it? What? <laughs> Mira doesn't mess around. Okay, so we're getting a little background of why they participated. I want to fight all kinds of guys and get stronger. Mori's pretty straightforward. And I was asking Han. So we're getting flashbacks of them meeting the, the big shots, the administrators, whatever their names are. She wants to revive her family's dojo. That's very honorable. I forgot the guy stole her sword with his toes. <laughs> oh, dropped in the water. kind of slap is serious. So she's searching for the sword in the water now. Don't let our moonlight sword style die out. Find a strong successor no matter what it takes. Her one and only wish is to find a strong successor to the moon style. Why can't she be the successor? So Mori's there to help now. Since he's the one who dropped it into the water. So her father passed away. Could have, could have assumed that. <laughs> Han just brings floodlights. <laughs> so we're starting to see their friendship really bloom now. Oh, the tournament's back. Let's go. This music again is so good. It gets you hyped up. Look at the stadium is amazing. They have the logo, the Crunchyroll logo on the stadium and the arena. That's really, that's well done. Whoever makes it to the end of today's tournament will be granted permission to participate in the National God of High School Tournament. Who will seize victory here? Now we introduce the fighters. All right, let's go. Oh, this is the martial arts dude. 
practitioner of Tai Chi. There's the brawler girl. She's just getting swole. He's in Zen. <laughs> or he's just napping. Boy. It's that one braided hair guy. The dread dude. Ooh. He did an air kick and made him bleed. Did he catch it? Did he catch his foot? I didn't, I feel like I missed something. <laughs> Showing all the guys interesting underwear. You had the elephant underwear last time. Group A, match one. Okay, Mira versus some guy. <laughs> Easily win. Mira just. Oh, here we go. Mori versus the Beast. Okay, so these are just fodder for these guys. He uses Taekwondo with punches too. Oh, Ma. So that's the brawler girl's name is Ma. Damn, suplexed him. Ma Misun. Oh, okay, Bach. I can't even say his last name. <laughs> He's so proficient with the bat, it's unreal. Hans turn. Versus the yes man. Damn. Hans punch is something else. Mori wants to fight Mira and Han. If we meet up, it'll be in the semifinals. Jin Mori sensei. I appreciate what you did for me. He must have stopped the kick then. If not for you, I don't know what might have happened. Please accept my thanks. Well, at least he's a nice guy. Go Gamdo. So now the Taekwondo guy's going. He's tough. What I fear the most would be to lose the battle of wills. I love that stuff. It's so cool. So this looks like it's going to be like the main focus of this episode. This is going to be a good fight. In round one. <laughs> Moons sustained during the battle will be repaired by nanomites. He doesn't deem him worthy of the martial arts path. Do not release your arm restraints. You will surely regret it. So he has arm restraints on. I don't know if I noticed that. Ooh. Damn, rabbit step. <laughs> Dragon's horn. He's just going all out right out the gate. Steel Ogre Mound Strike. <laughs> Damn. Oh, he's counting down. He's got to shut out the stage. Didn't even phase him in a little bit. He's fast, dude. That big guy is fast. Whew. What a kick. Oh, his arm.
arm restraints are off. <laughs> He's in trouble. He's in so much trouble. Ooh. This animation is nice. Just punch on punch. Don't do the heel to the... F Ooh. Ow, a heel to the face? Northern style Taekwondo. Eye gouges, piercing strikes, hits below the belt, anything goes. He fights dirty. He looks demonic now. Don't get angry. Don't be afraid. That's payback for earlier. So I right, must be seeing his master right there underneath the tree. So he's all about peace of mind, calm. Yin Yang balance strike. <laughs> Get reflected on him or what? So when he got hit, he stomped the ground and equaled out his force. This guy may be an asshole, but he's he's strong. <laughs> just slaps him. <laughs> just keeps laughing. <laughs> the disrespect is so bad. <laughs> Oh, he's getting a flashback of him asking for forgiveness. Who's this blue haired guy? Must be one of the administrators we haven't seen. Oh. This guy may end up dying. respect his will, but he needs to give up. <laughs> oh, he released his other arm. Oh, he's so dead. First your arms, then your legs. Ow. Might actually rip his arms out of the sockets. Ooh, just hear it snap. Who just kicked him? <laughs> oh, it's Morty, let's go. He looks pissed. <laughs> Look to the side, he's gone. Oh, it's a game on. Damn, kicked him again. Ooh, damn. I'm getting way too hyped right now. Ooh. The other administrators were there. That reminded me of Neji and Hinata's fight. He wants to fight the blind administrator. What is that darkness that just... I'm not like I was back then. He 
took off his heavy pants. So we're seeing another flashback to that guy. <laughs> what happened to this dude? He got messed up. So we're seeing a lady now, an eye patch. <laughs> Garbage like you can't use. Karyok. Loser. What is the Karyok? Cheriok? Oh, he's going in. So one of the administrators blocks it. Oh, Maureen's going in. Here we go. Equalizes his kick. Renewal Taekwondo. Triple kick. Oh, three spins in the air. All right, you guys, that's enough. Damn. Hook him. Ooh. What just hit him? Would you look at that? It's it's the guy. Just in time. It's Park Mujin. What did he do? <laughs> I'm Park Mujin, head of the tournament administration, as you've seen. So he's going to decide a punishment for him. In the meantime, the tournament will continue as planned. All the fans are rooting for Mori. So cool. I love you. <laughs> Mira and Han are there. That was an awesome scene. An awesome scene. Oh, <laughs> that must be the end of the episode. That was so fun. Okay, so we got the dreadheaded guy just got the crap beat out of him by Maury. So awesome, he deserved it for being such an ass to the martial arts guy, the Taekwondo dude, who really was being very honorable the whole fight. Didn't want any handicaps for the dreadheaded guy. But man, oh man, he didn't stand a chance. He, the, the martial arts guy did not stand a chance against the dreadheaded dude. He got his ass beat. Full, like, despite the dreadheaded dude's like, Dirty play, I mean, he didn't stand a chance. He was overpowered, but to see Mori go in and completely handle him, it didn't even look like he was trying that hard. Mori's true power is unbelievably broken. He's gonna bring out some awesome things. So I'm excited. That was a really great episode. I enjoyed every second of it. I mean, the comedy at the very beginning was great here. The bond between Mira and Mori and Han seemed to grow a little stronger when they helped Mira find her sword. And they get to learn a little bit of background on Mira that she's looking for a successor for her dojo, her family's dojo. Now, I don't know why she can't be the successor, maybe because she's a female, or maybe she has to marry a success for a successor or a bear child. Who knows? Maybe it's just they want the name to go on, so she's supposed to be her child or find someone besides just herself to be in the dojo with her. So maybe Mori will be that person because he was handling the sword pretty well last time. So we'll see what happens with that. So that was cool. So maybe next time we'll a little bit learn a little bit more about Han. We saw that he met the administrator and someone is in the hospital. So he must mean money for medical bills or something. It could be a father, his mother, or a grandfather, grandmother, someone like that. So it's obviously someone close to him. 
So that a lot of things coming out. We don't get to learn any more about Mori, which is okay. He's gonna be he's the main character, so I'm sure we'll learn much more about him as we get through the season. But really, really fun episode here, guys. Sorry if I was loud and excited. But man, oh man, those fight scenes were great. I enjoyed every second of it. We got to see some of the other participants really go in again and kind of handle business. So the main group moving on in the next round. It looks like Mori is going to get punished. We'll see what Park Mujin does for the punishment. And maybe we'll get to see a little bit more of what Park Mujin did when he walked into the Pentagon and talked to the president. So maybe we'll get a little bit more background on what's going on on that side too. So really, really fun episode, guys. Comment below with your thoughts of episode two. What was your favorite part and which participants are your favorite so far guys thanks for joining me i'll see you guys next week peace have a fantastic day